All right, getting into this game. This is actually... This is not a run back. No, these two have not played yet. We're actually having losers. Oh, right, yes, of course we're having losers finals. Duh. So Bobo took a really hard loss to um, Luffy in the winners. And Gatsby's kind of been on a run through losers. We saw him do amazing work against Nijon Mark. These two have played quite a bit. A lot of history between them. I think that... I'm not sure. Between these two... Who recently has had the edge? I feel like they've, for the most part, gone back and forth. But has it been Gatsby lately? I feel like Gatsby's been uh, taking out Bobo. At least that's what it looks like right now. That gentleman's enough to um, finish it. I'm not sure who has, who has that edge recently. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm remembering earlier on we saw... Uh, it was the coffee versus Gatsby set. We were talking about how, oh yeah, like Fox can't really go down there and punish those low, uh, those low Falcon recoveries. Snake, he doesn't has go down no there. He his minions. Yeah, <laughs> he's playing a MOBA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, actually, what? We oh, this is even. When did I? I blinked and it's even. Wow. Actually, very interesting. A lot of respect from Gatsby right now. Not just running in wildly. Instead, recognizing, understanding what... Oh, oh he did that on purpose yeah, in order yeah, to yeah. punish him. That's not what No, 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 no. But I like that he... Instead of just, like, taking himself out of tumble and trying to get back... He's tr trying to see if it lined up in a situation where he could punish it. Oh, man. Gatsby being pretty hungry off stage, which is... All right, that actually takes it. But I will say that I don't know how I feel about going deep off stage against a snake, just because of the fact that if he does get back to ledge, now you are forced to recover against the snake. Who's ledge trapping him? What's the interaction with uh, up B if snake has a grenade pulled? Um, I am unsure. I think that it goes through right? regardless, though. Because I don't know if it counts as like a multi hit. Did he get sticky? Yeah, he is sticky. We did a transfer. Oh, it transferred over to... Uh, wait, who's it on right now? I now it's back on Gatsby. Okay. Oh, man, he's right. oh, that roll was so clutch. That's actually huge for, uh, for Gatsby. Now he's... I mean, I would say he is in the driver's seat. Poised to take this game right here. Oh, but don't forget, if he's off stage, things can go so wrong. Oh. Yeah. Man. The amount of stocks that Gatsby gets with Falcon Kick. <laughs> now, Falcon Kick's a, a very, very serious burst option. That that button. You see them, them quads? Them kicks be strong. <laughs> Just a race car with legs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a race car, but it's like the Flintstones where he's yabba dabba doing <laughs> with his legs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game two. I, I I don't know that situation where he where he back him. The first back air, if he covered the the air dodge in, he'd have been Gatsby in such a bad situation. He did not have a jump, but he touched ground after the first air dodge. So it's like all right, back to reset. So now it's not as as six nine percent off what. Get jabbed in the corner on the platform. Man. Man it's also worth noting... He's going to get two friends one of these times, and it's yeah. going to be bad. Uh, it's worth noting that both of these players are right now fighting for their chance to get a rematch on Luffy. Yep. Luffy beat uh, Gatsby in semis, whereas we just saw actually that he took Bobo out in finals. Oh. So right now it feels like Gatsby is the one who's hungrier, ready to just... Run through, but uh, as I say that, up tilt, you gotta respect it. It's just such a powerful move, <laughs> dude. I actually really like that. That's really cool. So, he pulled the grenade, he threw a grenade. Um, he jumped on the platform and ciphered immediately. And then, as Gatsby's coming off an angel platform to, to like throw a throw ability, uh, Cypher ate the hit. Also, worth noting is that Snake has some armor on his up B. But that doesn't care about Falcon Dive. Falcon Dive doesn't care about that. You know, like, he, if he's able to position himself for it, he can suck him right up out of that side. How is he alive right now? Solid. Boom! <laughs> the 
the longest charge up smash. Well, that was actually so cool because he charged it extra long, recognizing the neutral getup was coming. Normally, he just, like, you know, instant, you know, up smashes to, like, have it cover some options. But that time around, he was just 100% ready to commit all the way. Is C4 on him? I can't tell. This oh, game my God. Is oh, my God. Oh, my God. Back here. Yeah, this game is uh, a whole different game from the first game. Bubbles' first stock took a long time to get off, and boy, did he get that extra credit. Yeah, C4 on the red of the Pokeball right now. Uh, that makes it just so that he can get access to the resource once more. And look at that. Up till I think that was my the later hit of it. But Gatsby, you saw is how he far he went. Stuck? Oh, is he stuck? Yep, he, he is. is absolutely stuck. That's going to be game two going to Bobo. Very dominant. Yep. But it's always hard to say whether or not you can glean that much information from it. Because I think that the most important part about that game was the fact that he took the first stock. Yeah. That's he what took matters. the first stock, and then I, I think he didn't die to like 190. Yeah, well, the thing is that, like, once Snake takes the first stock and he knows that you are g trying to, you know, actually kill him, and he only just has to damage you, that's when the gap just gets so much wider. Yeah, he plays around your kill options and will take any trade you want. Yeah. Oh, man, what an F tilt. Dude, he was ready for that conversion, and it was weird. I love that. He used the up B and lands on the platform so he can immediately get right back into the action. He's Right now, Gatsby looking pretty solid the way he's moving around on this stage. But, oh, I like that. Drifting back, recognizing where the C4 was. That was the answer to the question. He had grenade pulled there, and uh, up B did not pop it. Yeah, I don't think it counts as like a hit hit, sort yeah. of. It's like... That's actually... I'm very curious to see if there's like... I think if he had up beat a little later on that grenade pull, you'd get a combo on the grenade. What? Oh. Uh, but, 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 but. I don't think he realized he lost his jump. He could have wall jumped there and still up beat. Yeah, no, there were. He sh if he was ready for it, there's no reason he should have died. So that's kind of an unfortunate SD from Gatsby. And this the thing is now all of a sudden we're in that situation we saw in game two. Yep. Gatsby has to climb up. back. If and look at that, already 66%. This, like, Kita incoming? He, he might not even take this stock until like 190. Oh my lord. That's This game's a wrap. That SD hit him so much. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. A absolutely running away with it. Yeah. Like, the pace of the match is just set in such a brutal way if, if Bobo takes the first stock. Yeah, at this point, if Gatsby is going to get himself back into this, he's, it's going to require him to go for some nutty combo. But the thing is, he can't do that if Bobo keeps pulling grenades all the time. He did he go for an equalizer there. He went for the up B to cover, to cover Cypher. And if that up B connected, he was most definitely done. Oh, yeah, certainly. But... Once again, Bobo playing around the kill options. He's making sure not to actually get hit by those sorts of things. And back air strong. Not enough to do it, but and the key to coming in on you. Yeah, look at that. He can just cover so many options and then still get back in time to continue the ledge trap. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, that far out, whatever your defensive option is going to be on the Kita, you're, you're eating another mix-up. It's on the snake to mess it up. And Bobo was not here for it. Yeah, Bobo. Managing both of those games, he takes those, like, an early percent hit, but he survives. That game was actually a little bit weird because of the SD yeah. that happened. I but think it created it the same situation. As soon as he got that as soon as soon he got the stock lead, regardless of how he got it, it's now a different game. It's now, you have to come to me, I'm playing around your kill options, and you're going to take grenades on the way in. Yeah, and now as we move into game four, uh, I think that the question arises... Will Bobo take the first stock again? If he does, I think that he's going to win. Honestly, that's just the trend we've been seeing. Uh, you know, learn the patterns, you know, <laughs> spot the difference. Uh, and once more, Gatsby with these early percent leads, but the question is whether he's going to actually close out stocks. Uh, see. All right, Ask and that. question answered. Question answered. Asked and answered. I have a problem with people taking snake to dark labs. I think everyone does it all the time. And I, I'm not entirely sure if it's worth I mean, I think one reason he does it is because he likes to up B a lot, and having the top platform available to him is... Uh, up B? <laughs> he knew it. He saw, <laughs> that was, yeah, he, was, he, was, he, he saw that coming a mile away.
But I mean, Bobo still took over 100 in the process. So I don't know if you would call that back air combo breaker of victory. <laughs> <laughs> the air dodge a little too early. Still got hit by the Nikita. That was good. I like that because I think he's like he was looking for like a jump or something to C4. And so he just upbeat while he's in shield. Yeah. Now it's worth noting that I feel like when Bobo gets a stock lead, it's impossible for Gatsby to make the comeback. But I don't necessarily think that's the case the other way around. Bobo right now at 200%. If he manages to... Oh my... Ooh. He, uh, that actually... The, the Cypher hit actually made the back air meaty. <laughs> Listen, that, and all of a sudden that turned into like a move that stayed out for like 12 oh. frames. <laughs> okay, but you know, a ledge trap is always a possible. Oh, sorry, a ledge edged guard is always a possibility. Nikita not quite able to hit Gatsby in time. And that means Gatsby on stage can do Gatsby on stage things. Baiting out the up tilts goes for the knee. Doesn't quite land it. Yeah. But nonetheless, he has just been taking all of this damage, getting closer and closer to losing the game as uh, he has to worry about so many of uh, Gatsby's options right now. Gatsby has almost exclusively been using, he's like, all right, Bobo, if you want to cross me up with like a, whether it's a grenade pull or a C4 drop, I'm going to up you out of shit. That tech was fantastic. So he's been using the ability to, to turn around his up the out of shield to prevent like cross up. It's like you cross me up, I'm gonna react to it with up the out of shield. That was a great. Did you see the way that he down tilted in order to beat out the uh, Gatsby jabs? And all of a sudden, hold on a second. This game. This game is this very much anyone's game. game. Not only that, he's Nikita. off stage. He has to avoid the Nikita. Oh, he can't. No. That's gonna be the set. Bobo managing around. Wow, fantastic stuff to Bobo. Like. That's the thing about the matchup, is that if Snake takes the first stock, 